Next question says, what is the inheritance I am to bring slash prepare as a single woman desiring to get desiring to get married? It's a good question. So Rock chapter 22, verse 4. Not that the other ones weren't, but we need more questions like this from brothers and sisters. Because this is like life right now. You know, this is sisters trying to, how do I bring an inheritance to my to my to my future husband that I don't have yet? Right? That's that's a good question. Um Read Sirach chapter 22, verse 4. Sirach chapter 22 and verse 4. A wise daughter shall bring an inheritance to her husband, but she that liveth dishonestly is her father's heaviness. She that is, she that is bold dishonoreth both her father and her husband, but they both shall despise her. All right. That was just verse, that was 4 and 5? 4 and 5. All right. So read verse 4 again. Verse 4. A wise daughter shall bring an inheritance to her husband. So a wise daughter shall bring an inheritance to her husband. Who does a daughter, or who should a daughter receive her inheritance from? Her father. Very good. Her father. So a daughter should receive her inheritance from her father. What does that look like? Obedience. Submissiveness, right? That's good. Righteous man. I said uh, his, his the um the father giving his daughter over to a righteous man. But how was she an inheritance for him? Um, because uh, oh, I forgot how I said, but uh, this is hard for us to answer because we don't be getting no inheritances. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We start over every generation because it make his name make his name uh look good, right? Make well, his house. I got you. All right. I'm going to help you out because we ain't got a whole lot of time. I know y'all hungry. We got some good food tonight, too. Lord's will. So when you think about inheritance, it's something that is a value. It's a value. When you think about an inheritance, it's something that you, if you lose, you will be devastated. You take a loss, right? It's something that, that, uh, that you've worked hard for, right? Something that you entitled to, right? All of these things go along with the inheritance. So a father is investing in that daughter from the time she's a little baby, dealing with her, correcting her, right? Shaping her on, on how to be a woman, right? How to, like y'all said, submit, obey. All that's good. You can't buy that, right? How not to talk back, right? How to uh, speak, how to dress, right? How to, let's get into some of the more mm, monetary things, I guess. How to manage things. How to shop, buy groceries. How to budget, spend money, right? Or uh, save money. Um, how to, th these are all different things that a woman should already have before she get married. And she should have learned them from her parents. She should have learned it from her father who taught her mother, right? So even the things that she's learning from her mother is coming from who? The father, right? So the father had to build that up, had to build her mother up, had to build the child up, right? So that's, that's the inheritance that you are to bring. Now, many of us, that's a perfect world. Don't come from that type of background because we didn't grow up in the truth. So what does that look like now for the sister who wants to bring an inheritance to her future husband? Well, sister, you have fathers up here that should be like a father to you. You should be able to come to us, right, for us to help you with big decisions that you need to make, things that you are confused about, things that uh, you're stressing out about, um, right? Uh, you should be able to be honest with us, right? how you would a father, right? Not only that, but how many of you all would listen to what your father told you and then not do it? Still do what you want to do? That's the question. <laughs> how many sisters would do that? How many sisters would have a father that loved them, that you loved, right? Raised you, right? And then they tell you, 
You may not even come to them for counsel, but you come to them with a problem. What's the father going to do? They're going to give you an answer. They're going to give you a solution, whether you want to hear it or not. They're going to tell you what you need to hear, even if you're not asking for it. Once they hear it, they, with, the, with their wisdom, they're going to direct you. It's up to you whether you apply that or not, right? It's up to you whether you apply that or not. So if you don't, if you don't apply that, then are you really preparing yourself to be an inheritance for that man that you say you want to please? No, you're not, right? So it kind of starts right here when you're dealing with the leadership, right? So this is how you can kind of help prepare yourself for that husband because we're going to try to help guide you the best we can with the time that we have and the guidance that we have received from our leaders to build you up to what you need to be for that man, right? Because all of us are married. We got some experience, right? And for the things we haven't experienced, we have leaders who we can talk to for you on your behalf. Right. To make sure that you end up in the best situation possible. Right. A daughter should know how to cook. Right. These know how to sew. All these things are done in here. As you come deal with the leadership, we might say you need to be in this office or you need to get with this sister or get with that sister. Right. These are things that we'll try to do to make provisions to build you up to what you need to be to come to become a good help me for a man. So it's going to start here dealing with the leadership, getting to know the leadership just like you would know, you know, and trust your father. All right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.